guys it's Ricardo here and just wanted to do a quick unboxing slash review um, of a new watch that uh, came on the market very 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 recently um, and you guys might guess what it is um, right now I'm holding the original which is the original Q Timex from Timex um, the watch was very, very successful last year. Um, as you can see, it's not on its original bracelet. I actually got a aftermarket Timex bracelet a while ago, and I replaced it because, um, as many of you know or have had experience with, this little sucker really knows how to grab the hairs off your wrist. So I had taken this out, and I replaced it with this um, bracelet which you can find um, it's actually what it's called the Timex stainless collection expansion band 15 to 19 millimeters that's well um, that's what it's called if you want some more specific information you could find it right here but that's that's grandpa that's the old guy old guy on the block um, let's take a look at the new guy on the block Recently released by Todd Snyder, New York. It's a collaboration done between Timex and Todd Snyder. Um, they've collabed on a bunch of Timex watches. Recently, I think they had a Timex liquor store. Um, interesting name, but uh, that's the last collab I could think um, that they had. And they have many more um, collabs as well. But this one specifically really caught my attention because I felt like this version, um, this collab that they did was honestly the best version of the Q Timex that I've seen released. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open this up. Hang tag here. Some cover coverage here. Let's get that out. Toss that up there. Um, and you know what? Let's 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 make this all nice and uh, all nice and official. I'll take out the gloves. And let's take a look at what they created. Here is. The Timex Q Todd Snyder Edition. Oh man, you already hear that. Uh, that 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 ah uh, brings back oh, so many memories. That little jiggle jiggle. Uh, now this is an expansion bracelet. This is actually a fold over bracelet, as you can tell right here. But let's let's get close in. Let's get on the dial. Um, there's some plastic here. I'm gonna leave it for the time being, so you guys can see some differences. I'll actually do a side-by-side. -side. So this is the old Dur version, and this is the newer version. Here, of course, you can see we have that that 12-hour uh, bezel, where on the left with the Q Timex of collab between Timex and Todd Snyder, you see that you have a Full timing bezel same day date the seconds hand is tipped well not tipped it does have a red pip towards the end hands of course are different the hands on the new version are just regular stick hands while you can see the hands on the older version also your our loom pips on this version you don't get that here you get some loom on the smaller dots towards the edge of the right before you get to the bezel now i wanted to know if this was a clicking bezel nope friction bezel just like the original version 
has that deep, that nice black dial bracelet. Sign Timex. You have one, two, three, four, five, six micro adjustments on the bracelet. And let's try this out. Let's see how this looks on the wrist. Okay. That's how that looks. And it's interesting, in the pictures it doesn't really show well, but the bezel isn't so much as a polished bezel. It's actually, I don't wanna say plastic, no, it, it's just, it. whereas the, the outside is more polished, this bezel seems to be, yeah, this bezel seems to be more, it's weird. I'm going to need to spend some more time with this, see exactly what this bezel is. Trying to see if it's that is the same material as the older bezel. Okay, yeah, the bezel definitely a brushed bezel. I just need to know what that material is. So it's it's like a lighter gray than everything else around it. So it kind of stands out a bit. But yeah, that was a quick unboxing for you guys. I mean, this this is pretty true to the to the original um, jang, jangly jangly bracelet and all. Here's my eye at you. <laughs> okay, battery compartment in the back. But yeah, one of the positives, of course, here is now you have a so more solid bracelet. So in terms of it eating away at your wrist hairs, that shouldn't happen. Definitely have a more muted bezel. Whereas everything here is stainless steel, the bezel does, I've got to find out what it is, guys. I think it's still the same 18 millimeters. But yeah, that's the new. Q Timer.